Hello everybody, welcome back to Doom RL. I'm Runaspism, and today we're going to do Angel of Impatience. Now just to note that that description is actually a little bit inaccurate. Rather than just medkits and phase devices, it's actually all consumables that get used on pickup. So the trait we took was Son of a Bitch. It just means that every bullet we fire and punch we throw deals one extra damage. Taking it on level 1 in particular means that I can kill these enemies in two pistol shots more frequently, as I mentioned on my um, marksmanship video where I took some of gun. I'll just let him come to me. There we go. I knew he would come to me, that shotgunner that I talked about earlier, because as well as damaging enemies, if an enemy ever shoots at you, that probably means that it'll just keep following you. So whenever I've damaged an enemy or an enemy has damaged me, I'll assume that they're just running straight for me if they can't see me. Oh. As opposed to this guy. I didn't shoot at him and he didn't shoot at me, so he had no reason to chase me down. He actually came out through the other door, because he was just wandering randomly. Hmm. That guy's not important, because he'll just hit me with his melee attack. It's these imps that I'm very worried about. I spawned right next to two packs of them. So this next trait I'm taking, Eagle Eye, increases my accuracy by two points. For shotguns that does nothing, but I'm sure we'll find a weapon that can get some use out of it eventually. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Looks like this is the only guy on my left except for the enemies in that vault over there. So here's a funny AI bug that you don't see very often. Demons love to stay in pairs. It's just part of their group up and ambush code. So those demons will actually stay perfectly still until I open that door, at which point their love of pursuing me will outweigh their love of sticking together. I think I'll let them stay together for a little while until I've cleared out the rest of the level and I can think of a better strategy for them. So this guy's got that weapon I was talking about earlier. He has a chain gun for me, but I'm not going to pick up yet because I need to fight this guy. So let's find out a little bit more about our chain gun. It reloads very slowly, it does decent damage, and it has plus two accuracy. Well, plus four because I got the trait. The accuracy mechanic is a little opaque, but basically, plus zero means 50-50 chance, and then every 10 adds about 10%, with a bit of diminishing returns after about plus three or four. So right now my chain gun has an accuracy of about 90%. So there's a small penalty to accuracy for um, firing at far away targets, and um, Firing at the edge of your line of sight generally takes about two off the accuracy. So my accuracy is really only 70% if I'm trying to shoot it very far away. Oh excellent, there's a berserk pack over there. I'm going to try to clear out the demons without it and then grab it for a full heal. Hmm. Actually there's a full heal over there. <sighs> well, whatever, I'm sure I can beat them just like this. So this is annoying. There we go. I need chances to actually knock them back without other demons getting in their way. Or I can just kill them like that. When they're in a train like that, it's very hard to keep knocking them back. Luckily from here I can get both of them at once with empty space behind them. Alright, back to the chain gun. 
gotten bulk mode sounds nice. Let's put that on our weapon. Now I can hold more bullets, less reloading in the middle of combat. Also, ammo efficiency will be a little bit of a concern, so being able to hold 12 more inside my weapon instead of my inventory will be nice. And I might as well be berserk when I walk down the stairs, just for a little bit of damage reduction against the first wave. Corners are missing on the pillars, that's annoying. So I'm gonna chain fire here. What chain firing does is, on the first action you get one less bullet, on the second action you get the regular amount of bullets, and then on the third and every action after that you get two extra bullets. So as long as you're firing for three or more turns, it's more, uh, more damage in less time. Well, not less, you know, more damage in the same amount of actions. Chain firing is quite useful, and as well as just putting out more bullets, you can also use it for ammo conservation. For example, no, okay, never mind, that was, that was a bad example. I'll try and find a better example later. Essentially, chain firing is not much of a commitment. You can start one action of chain firing, and then stop it immediately afterwards, so that you fire three bullets, and then that's just it. Which means that against enemies with very low health, you can do that to save a bullet. You might find me doing this later on in the run, but you can even start a chain fire, stop it, and then start a new one if you don't actually want to fire all the bullets. Uh, where's a good place to corner shoot this guy with no corners? Oh goodness, and now there's one over here as well. I'll have to go here to get them both on the same side. Normally killing them in three turns is fast enough, but on this kind of level I've only got two. Still, there's only one or two more Kako Demons, and after that I think I should be fine. I think I'll actually use the shotgun here, because I need repeated knockback to not take damage. I think there's one more Kako Demon on my left, if I had to guess. I can't hear- oh, it's being very quiet. So now it'll chase me. I'm not sure if it can see me there or not, so I'll just take a much safer- oh, dang. Uh, this is actually a decent chance to get some chain firing in. This is like the best corner shooting position I could hope for against a Baron of Hell. Yeah, didn't even need the shotgun. So there you can see that I've cancelled my chain fire to start a new one to save bullets on an almost dead Baron of Hell. He's being quiet too. I refuse to believe that I went past him. Hmm, I thought so. I think I've got him here. Nope, he went right again. That's fine, I'll wait for him. There we go. So there you have it. It's very important to complete Hell's Arena on Ultra Violence. It's generally easier than level 3 is, and it gives you a lot of goodies, including a supercharge at the very end, to help you get through level 3, which will honestly be tougher. And we've got a rocket launcher as well. That's nice. While my chain gun is more than enough for putting on heavy damage on a single target, and if I want AoE damage I'll probably want the shotgun, because it doesn't hurt myself, the rocket launcher is still useful for blowing up walls, rocket jumping, other utilities like that. I'll keep it in my backpack for a rainy day. Hmm. 
Blowing up that barrel would be a bad thing. I should have had my chain gun out to begin with. Hmm. If I just had my chain gun out when I was walking down the stairs, I would have had even less chance of taking damage, but oh well. Yes, because I managed to avoid destroying all those barrels, I got to keep those three health items on the floor. I doubt I'll need them, but who knows, maybe I'll have to fight a Hell Knight out in the open. Or maybe a nymph will blow up some barrels while I'm walking right past them, like that one should've. So, Trigger Happy increases the amount of shots in my volley by one. And that includes while chain firing, so I've gone from 346 to 457. At this point, I should probably start a chain fire for any humanoid enemies, because four bullets will be enough to beat them. I don't want to waste the fifth. And of course, as I say that, a chain fire fails to kill that guy. The difference between four and five bullets doesn't matter that much, but who knows? Maybe they add up. Numbers do add up, sometimes. Hmm. I can't get both of these guys in the same firing line. Are there any Hell Knights on this level? When there's a barrel between me and enemies like that, I like to let the enemies destroy the barrel, then it takes their action instead of mine. There is the, uh, the very low chance that they'll miss the barrel and hit me though. But with the accuracy bonus that enemies get on the ultra violence and harder, it's unlikely. Another bolt. Interesting. This can go on my boots, thanks. Hmm, did someone pick up the large mid bag? No, why didn't he pick up the small one as well? I'm pretty sure enemies can hold as many items as they want. What a strange level 3. Okay, I am playing on Ultra Violence. Not that I would know it from... Well, I suppose there were lots of enemies, but there were no Hell Knights. With all the healing on this level, I feel safe pulling this. Oh, it's armor repair. I don't have any armor to repair. Actually, maybe I do. <laughs> this is such a low impact move, but hey, maybe I'll need a fourth suit of green armor. Uh, right, I'm leaving ammo on the ground. I'll even unload that pistol while I'm at it. There's no excuse for leaving that 140 on the ground there. Again, I won't need all this armor. Um, is that everything? Where's the stairs? Oh, they're up here, I think. No, that's a barrel. Oh! Pff, they're right next to me. What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> I killed the one in the back before the one in the front. Unlikely. I hear a Kako Demon off to my right. Also, I'm taking kind of a dangerous path through the level, I think. Because I saw a door open over here, which means that I probably want to finish what's on my plate before starting a new fight. I should be closing these doors as well, just so I know if enemies are chasing me from behind like that. Path to have to walk through here with the, all those walls in my way and no real corner fighting to be done. Huh, 
You didn't die. What a hardy former human. Hmm. I think the Berserk Pack is a sign. I don't need to hang back and grab the dregs of XP that are still left. I'll just get a good start on this level. Oh goodness. Such a big empty room can mean only one thing. There's 30 enemies in the rooms over here. Uh, I won't say no to blue armor. Oh, I'm still carrying around a pistol. That's silly of me. Although now I have to drop my green armor again anyway, because I want all that ammo. Rapid fire runs generally go through ammo a little faster than um, shotgun runs do, so it's important to pick up all the ammo you see. Hmm, what can that tech mod go on? Maybe my rocket launcher, but... Hmm... No, I think I want a... Uh, I want a bulk mod on my rocket launcher, but my bulk mods are already kind of accounted for. I'll put the tech mod on my rocket launcher for faster firing speed, and if that ends up being a mistake, I'll just find a rocket launcher. I missed the memo that Hell Knights no longer spawn on ultraviolence. They just don't exist anymore. Maybe I should be putting on my blue armor with all these armor shots hanging around. So this next trait we just took was intuition. An intuition, well, it's not doing much right now, but it does allow me to see power-ups um, as though I had a computer map at all times. Also, I believe I just caught a glimpse of an enemy that I thought didn't exist on this difficulty. Would you look at that? The prodigal son returns! These enemies that should have been kicking my face in all throughout levels 3 and 4. He's finally back! Oh, I thought a punch would be enough. With two points in Son of a Bitch, a punch will generally kill any almost dead enemy. Well, certainly a Hell Knight, you would hope. But it wasn't quite enough. Hmm, two Berserk Packs. Isn't that handy? Oh, the stairs are all the way over there, though. Even with these Berserk Packs, I really don't want to go into the Chained Court because I normally like to have some healing when I'm dealing with four barons of hell in the open, followed by an archvile at the end. So let's just go on to regular level 6 instead. And possibly fight some barons of hell in the open anyway. Or oh, this motherfucker! Ugh. I always forget that this is when um, former commandos start showing up as well. As well as dealing a lot of damage and cutting through armor, it's important to kill a former commando fast so that they don't waste a lot of their precious ammo. Because they don't carry any ammo to reload with, all you get is the stuff in their plasma rifle. Plus the plasma rifle itself if you don't want to unload it because you don't have one yet. Aha. I have a feeling I can corner shoot this guy if I get into a good position first. Because we didn't fire at each other, he's not particularly interested in me, though. Oh, and here's his brother. Don't want to reload in the door. Probably a good way to get shot twice by an enemy that I couldn't see. Where'd that Baron go? Considering how much health I've seen recently, I'm actually going to... Yeah, overheal a little bit, because I had a feeling that this guy was about to destroy me. Excellent. That's one of the perks of playing on graphics mode instead of um, console mode. You can sometimes get a bit of a glimpse of an enemy that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. 
I'll just keep walking around in this blue. Wasting my armor isn't too much of a concern, considering I'm about to go to Phobos Anomaly and get myself a nice shiny pair of red... Uh, hair? Rather, suit. Oh, goodness! I wasn't expecting a Baron of Hell. He was being very quiet. Uh, I don't really have a good spot to corner shoot him, except for here, probably. But then, it's the wrong angle. If I could somehow lure him upwards, that would be nice. Goodness. Crates are very easy to destroy, as you can see. Also, I believe he just destroyed the health. Maybe I'll corner shoot him from here? Yeah, there we go. I'm starting chain fires, even though they automatically end when I can't see anything, just so I get one extra turn of chain firing when he does come into view. I think two barons is about all I want to fight here. And it doesn't look like... Actually, are there any power-ups on the left side? With intuition, I'll be able to see them. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I do want to fight my way through this level. After two Baron deaths, I'm sure the enemy budget is mostly spent. I'd like to just pick up this regular full heal if... Oh! Maybe the enemy budget isn't mostly spent, because there was this vault. I'm not sure how vaults interact with the regular enemy spawning, but it does seem like two barons plus a whole bunch of caco demons is a bit over budget for this level. Oh goodness. Okay, there's still caco demons in here, but I'm in the perfect position to kill them all without taking damage. Hmm, chain guns can't do that. Oh, I better put on some armor, even just some green, so I don't take too much damage from a shotgunner or something. Okay, probably nothing down that corridor if I didn't hit him with 12 bullets, or rather 15 because I get plus one per volley. That's probably enough for this level. Ah, another bulk mod, excellent going straight on my weapon. Uh, yes, I would like a gathering gun. Uh, how do I see the stats of this thing? Because I almost want to remind myself. Okay, so it reloads slower, but you get way more shots. Great. So as you can see, this thing fires six instead of four, and that's independent of trigger happy, so I actually get seven per volley. I must remember to be chain firing constantly to save one of my seven points. I actually want to punch that lost soul just to save some points. A full burst of seven bullets isn't too wasteful on a single lost soul because of the way they resist bullets by 50%. So it actually does take about six or seven bullets to kill them. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I saw up there before I ran away. Ah, it was Baron of Hell. I would recognize that projectile anywhere. Hmm. So, the reason I was talking about my positioning with the last Baron of Hell I fought is because in this position, I only have two tiles to react, because he takes the shortest path to me, then goes around the obstacle. Luckily, two tiles is all I need with a shotgun. When I was trying to fight one with my chain gun earlier, though, I was very considerate of how he was going to approach me, and I wanted to get as many tiles to react to his advance as possible. Speaking of reacting to the advance of enemies as early as possible, here's Cat-Eye. It's my master trait for chain guns. It allows me to see enemies coming from two spaces further. Maybe I want a regular chain gun in addition to my Gatling gun. So the assembly that I just created is called Tactical Boots. It's when you put two agility mods onto a pair of boots, a pair of steel boots specifically. It takes away the um, protection value from them, so they will no longer actually do anything when I step in acid or lava. 
but they make me even faster than regular agility modded boots do. Also, while they offer no protection, they do regenerate, so when I damage them by stepping in acid or lava like a dummy, as long as I don't destroy them all in one go, they'll eventually just become good again. How many bullets do I have? Okay, I feel like I'm pissing them all away, but I do have about a thousand of them, so it's not too bad. Uh, that's probably enough for this level. Isn't it nice to just be going for 80-ish percent instead of 100? Let's see here, I want my red armor on to resist fire, and I want my rocket launcher out to create fire. And... actually they're kind of far away, let's wait and now rocket jump. Okay, here's a good spot to bring out my regular weapon again. I think I'll just start chain firing here. Only two ranged enemies can see me. I want to cover as many enemies as possible considering I'm firing, what, nine shots per turn? Hmm, even at this point it's too wasteful. I'll just start doing controlled bursts again. Goodness. Five shots is all it took, huh? Uh, let's drop three bullets for three rockets. That seems like a decent trade. And let's pick up three bullets again. Heck yeah. Oh, there's still a Kaka Demon. Good thing he can't see me. Okay, so, how are we gonna deal with the Barons? or the Bruiser Brothers, rather. I have a feeling I'm going to want a rocket launcher and a plasma rifle. With one point in Eagle Eye, my rocket launcher is actually quite accurate, unlike when I was doing this with shotguns. So, I can generally rely on just hitting one of them on... yeah, instead of having to aim for walls or perform other kinds of trick shots. Yeah, as we can see, I didn't even need my um, plasma rifle. I'll just swap that straight back to my Gatling gun and finish this guy off. No need to even go back for healing. That was expertly done, if I say so. do say so myself. Alright, I feel like I made pretty decent time. Let me just quickly check how long this has been. Oh, okay. Well, it's been about half an hour. I suppose I'll cut the video here then. I'll see you in Deimos, everybody.